Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan. I am the pharmacist here at MD Custom RX. We are getting a lot of questions about the food sensitivity kit that we carry at MD Custom RX. I want to spend just a few minutes today going over what is different about this food sensitivity kit compared to what you might get at your allergist. Let's get into the details of today's talk. So I want to make sure we're all on the same page. When it comes to food sensitivities, we are measuring something called IgG. When you go to a traditional doctor and they're measuring you for food allergies, they're measuring IgE. When a patient has food sensitivities, what is happening is those immune globulins, IgGs, are coming in contact with a food, a food protein or what we call a food antigen. And so when those two combined, when you have the antibody, the IgG that our body produces from our immune system, and the antigen, there are immune globulins, one through four, that are produced. And with the FIT test, we're actually measuring those immune globulins. So if they exist, we know that there is a sensitivity to that food. What KBMO does, though, they take this one step further. When the antigen, again, let's call it the food particle, combines with our antibody that our body produces, the IgG, what also is produced is another inflammatory signal, this immune complex called C3D. And that's what today's video is really going to help the patient um, distinguish when they're trying to figure out if, she, if they should do a fit test or not. Food allergy definition. So the thing that when the test kit that we have here that I actually sold out of, I was trying to get some more kits tonight, but they're not here yet. They should be in tomorrow. Um, is we test food sensitivities here now. So that's where my daughter did. She had migraines and constipation. We did the food sensitivity test, found out she was sensitive to pumpkin seeds, uh, egg whites. Um, I, can't, I don't think gluten was on there. There's a couple of other things. But once we identified them and, and she eliminated them from her diet, her constipation went away and her migraines went away. So how about that? <clears throat> so just by some very subtle things here. Uh, oh, red, red pepper or red chili peppers was the other one. Um, so we're really, what we test here now is food sensitivity because food sensitivities could lead into, this is my test, this is what the report looks like. You get categories of one through four. And if you have reactions to levels three and four, you should eliminate those pretty much indefinitely. Um, your ones and twos, eliminate them for six weeks and then you can bring one back in slowly at a time um, but you know should you even do we call it the fit test uh, food intolerance test um, and so if you struggling to lose weight what did I put on here migraines that was my daughter thyroid issues or the Hashimoto's um, arthritis brain fog, anything that has to do with inflammation I would do a food inflammatory test um, to see if you are, and again, some of these things are very subtle. We're not talking food allergies where you got an anaf you know, you um, eat peanuts and then you stop breathing, kind of a thing. This is very subtle stuff that we're talking about. Is it different but, than your uh, food sensitivity test? No, that's same thing. Same thing. Oh. Yep, yep. Sorry. Um, so, or skin issues, psoriasis, even seasonal allergies. You might be sensitive to a food that's causing those allergies. This test will actually not only measure an IgG level, but it'll, it'll, measure, it'll measure something called immune complex, where it's the antigen and antibody connection. There's another molecule that's, that's created, and that FIT test tests for that immune complex. So you don't have to eat it and then go do the test kind of a thing. You just do the blood test, and it'll show up whether you've eaten it or not. Between those cells, the epithelial cells, they've got two proteins, uh, zonulin and occludin. Those need to be in between those epithelial cells. If, if they're not, they're in your blood, and this test will pick them up. They have two different ways to test for it. So whether you test positive on, I'm not going to get into this, but the IgG or the IgA1 and 2, doesn't matter. If it's positive on, on just one, it's there. You've got leaky gut. There's, it's black and white. 
Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you found some value in today's content and have a better understanding of the fit test here that we have at MD Custom RX. Just as a quick recap, the fit test comes in three different sizes. We have just the gut barrier panel for $200. We have the Fit 132, which tests 132 foods, and the Fit 176, that tests 176 foods. Both of those panels do include the gut barrier panel. So if you are considering doing food sensitivity testing, I would encourage you to do the, either the 132 or the 176 food sensitivity kit. Have a great night, and we will see you next time.